Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are going to be talking about some Amazon news, some workhorse updates, and the Hylion stock. But before the video begins, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can stay informed about all the news that's happening in the stock market right now. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video. The first story I have for all of you today involves Amazon, and we are particularly going to be talking about the Amazon stock and how well it's doing lately and the potential for a stock split. We are about to momentarily dive into an article that goes in depth on why the writer and the analyst thinks that Amazon is going to do a stock split. Now, we've already seen Tesla and Apple both go through a recent stock split that has been extremely successful. And the author in this article gives strong evidence of why they think Amazon is going to go through a stock split. Now, if you need anything explained, such as what a stock split is, I will try to explain everything in the video. If you have any questions, reach me down in the comments below. And of course, all articles will be linked in the description. Let's jump right into the first story. Amazon has been experiencing explosive growth, so much growth that this article thinks that they are going to undergo a stock split. The evidence that they have for this is that Tesla, Apple, and Amazon are the big companies to be splitting. Tesla and Apple have already split and they think that Amazon is next in line. The article goes on to explain what a stock split is and I'm going to quote here. It says, or someone recently said, if you gave me five singles for a $5 bill, I'm no better off. So if you give someone a $5 bill and they hand you five ones, you're no better off. It's the same amount of equity. Here is Tesla's and Apple's stock split before they actually split. So you can see the point where the red arrow is pointing and then right after the split, it has has absolutely parabolic growth. And if Jeff Bezos was smart, he would also do that. Now, Jeff Bezos is a genius in his own right because he is the richest man in the world. But as you can see, if they follow in Apple's and Tesla's footsteps, the stock will absolutely explode even more. You can see here that Amazon has already undergone three stock splits. And historically, Amazon has undergone three different stock splits. The first one was in June 2nd of 1998, and it was a two-for-one stock split, which means if I had one Amazon stock worth $500 after the stock split, I would have two Amazon stocks, each worth $250. Amazon then underwent two more stock splits, one on January 5th of 1999, and that was a three-for-one stock split, and the last one was on September 2nd of 1999, and that was another two-for-one. This means that Amazon hasn't done a stock split in over 20 years, which is quite odd to me because normally stock splits allow the company to generate more revenue without adding any real value to the company itself. The author exclaims their shock when they say that Amazon hasn't split their stock since early 2000s. They say that they have checked the last four conference calls and there has been no discussion of a split that they can see. If Jeff Bezos has any desire to be in the Dow Jones industrial average, then he will have to split the stock. The article goes on to say that right now is a prime time for Amazon to split their stocks and to join the Dow Jones industrial average index. The article gives us these beautiful graphics and some bullet points that I will read for you all. It says that net sales increased 40% to $88.9 billion in quarter two compared to $63.4 billion in quarter two of 2019. It says that operating cash flow increased 42% to $51.2 billion for the TTM period as compared to the prior year. It says that net income of $5.2 billion in quarter two almost doubled as compared with the net income of $2.6 billion in quarter two of 2019. If you did not understand any of that, that is quite all right. Basically, it's just saying that Amazon is growing very rapidly as a company and its stock price is a direct reflection of the company's success. The article goes on to say that Amazon keeps adapting and innovating. It has ordered 1,800 Mercedes-Benz electric vehicles so it can reduce its carbon footprint. Not to mention that Amazon has received approval from the Federal Aviation Administration to operate its fleets of prime air delivery drones. But Amazon still has harsh competition such as Google Alphabet's Wings delivery system, also using drones, and UPS drones, not to even mention that Workhorse, who we will get into later, also uses drones. Another competitor to Amazon is Walmart, who just released a subscription service similar to Amazon Prime, but it's $21 cheaper. This is a summary of the article, just so I can collapse and summarize and give you a synopsis of everything we touched on right now. 
After witnessing the major success of Tesla and Apple stock splits respectively, Amazon is likely the next company to undergo a stock split because their stock price is too high. The author recommends that a 10 to 1 stock split would be the most logical choice. The author reminds us that stock splits don't add any real value to the company, they only provide a psychological lift. Also, remember the graphs that we looked at. Amazon's business keeps performing very, very well, although we are in somewhat of an economic recession right now, so that is good news. That concludes our Amazon article for today. Now let me move on to Workhorse, who also specializes in aviation, and they are creating their own drone delivery systems to launch from their Workhorse vehicles. In my last video about Workhorse Group, we talked about Horsefly or the Horsefly segment of Workhorse, which was their drones. Now, I am not going to particularly specify on that topic in this video. Instead, we are going to talk about Workhorse Group as a company and Workhorse stock as a whole. We will also be touching on Workhorse's contracts with UPS and the potential contract of them landing the United States Postal Service, also known as USPS contract. Now, the article that we are about to get into says that we shouldn't buy Workhorse, and I'm going to tell you my thoughts on the article when we walk through it right here, right now. The article opens with a huge title that says, Do not consider Workhorse Group if profits are your thing, and I can only 100% agree with them at this point. Right now, Workhorse is very speculative. They haven't generated any real revenue, and even from the earnings graph that we went over last week, you can see that they are not a profitable company. The article goes on and says, you shouldn't touch this stock if profits and revenue are your thing. It's a speculative investment. It's just not an investable business right now. This is probably not the news you want to hear right now, but listen to his evidence. He says, having struggled for profitability for over a decade, it seems to have no clear path for a turnaround. And I understand where the author is coming from. They think that people are only investing in Workhorse because they think it's the next Tesla. And I think that is exactly what is happening here. No one is looking at Workhorse's finances, which are absolutely atrocious. Originally, analysts were expecting $270 million in sales, and instead they only got 91000 the company lost $7 million in operations. That's crazy. They lack revenue and profits, and their horsefly drones aren't doing well either. Now, to be fair, this is similar to Tesla because Tesla didn't start making profits until early last year, so I understand this. Also, there was an original price target of $26 for Workhorse Group. The stock is nowhere near $26 right now, but everyone is banking on the U.S. Postal Service $6 billion contract with the USPS. Now, there is upside because the UPS contract has already been solidified and the DHL contract, so those are really good as well. The author of the article goes on to mention that Tesla should buy Workhorse. Now, this would not make sense for Tesla. Why would they buy Workhorse? A better thing to buy would be Nikola, because Nikola has proprietary formulas for hydrogen fuel cells, Why Workhorse just basically makes electric vehicles just like Tesla. And quite frankly, Tesla's technology is much better than Workhorse's. Everyone is keeping their eye on the USPS contract with Workhorse. Now, the United States Postal Service contract would be very beneficial for Workhorse to land, but until then, it's still speculative. The vast majority of trading action happening on Workhorse stock is just sideways. It just keeps going back and forth between $15 and $19, but winning the Postal Service contract will put a $6.3 billion worth of revenue into Workhorse's pockets. Workhorse Group already has $70 million worth of back orders, but the USPS contract will make or break the Workhorse stock. Everything hinges on the United States Postal Service contract. If Workhorse lands the USPS contract, the stock will explode over $30, but if they miss the contract, then it's going to drop below $10. And that concludes the Workhorse news for today. Now we are going to get into Tortoise acquisition, more specifically Hylion. Hylion is doing spectacular lately. Their stock is 50 plus dollars. That is insane. Now, I think Hylion's stock is overpriced right now, but I don't think it's going to come down that much. They have been extremely successful because they are taking commercial semi trucks and creating them into hybrid electric vehicles, which is absolutely a genius business model. 
And here is one of the reasons that Hylion is so successful. The Hylion CEO says, What we are doing is actually focusing on the drivetrain of the vehicle as opposed to reinventing the entire vehicle from the ground up. End quote. So it is easier and cheaper to make a vehicle a hybrid electric vehicle instead of manufacturing their own electric vehicle themselves. And I think that is just an absolutely brilliant business idea. It is cheaper, you have more cars, and your target market comes to you. Hylion's debut for the stock market is supposed to take place by the end of the third quarter. Right now, they are still merging with Tortoise Acquisition. And ever since the announcement of that merger, Hylion has increased 300% in their stock price. Aside from that, Hylion is also planning to ramp up production of a second offering dubbed the Hypertruck ERX. And that truck is going to be running off of renewable natural gas with a 1,000 miles of range, which allows truckers to fill up on more available natural gas filling stations. Hylion's CEO goes on to say that on that vehicle, we actually use an onboard natural gas generator that can kick on and charge the batteries up as you're driving, so you don't have to plug it into the grid in order to recharge the battery. The rest of the Hylion stock article says that the company previously announced a 1,000 pre-order for its hyper trucks from a Kuwait based logistics company named Agility. Deliveries for its hyper truck are planned for 2021 before volume production in 2022. The company says it's already shipping its hybrid e axle system before ramping up production soon next year. All of this sudden good news is inflating the stock price of SHLL. Hylion will experience a pullback, I just don't know when that pullback will be. At the recording of this video, it is $55. Hylion is worth $55. I bought two shares on my Robinhood portfolio at $19, and right now it is $110. That's all I have for you guys in the video today. I'll see you in the next YT video.